For me personally, any time of the day is a good time for some tea. Pinterest. Pinterest is what we are talking all about today and I am going to walk you through how you can upload pictures to Pinterest. You can pin them to a specific board and you can embed a link into the picture. That way, when others are viewing Pinterest and they see your picture and they click on it, they can be driven to whatever destination you've chosen for them. If you're looking to grow more followers on your Facebook fan page, for example, you could link that. You could link them directly to your website so they can shop and learn more about the opportunity of joining your team. You can literally add any link that you choose. So I'm going to show you how I do it and how you can increase your engagement and your social media presence on Pinterest. So get ready, get set, let's go. everybody, I am Jackie Duran, independent Scentsy Consultant, and this video is all about Pinterest. So if you are not familiar with Pinterest, or maybe you are, but you just didn't know exactly how to embed links into the pictures that you upload onto Pinterest, or how to just get them there from your Scentsy workstation, I'm going to give you all the deets and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now to get started, we are going to jump into my phone. I know we all have different phones out there. So some of you may be Apple users, some of you may be Android, you may be on the Google platform. Depending on your phone is gonna kind of depend on what it looks like, but all the features really remain the same within the Pinterest app. I personally have an iPhone 10, and so my screen may look a little different from yours. But like I said, we're still gonna be able to do the same thing regardless of the platform that you're working with. Your phone just may look a little bit different on how you get a picture and maybe how you import that. So that might be a little different for you, but otherwise, we're good to go. So let's jump on in to my phone. All right, welcome to my phone. <laughs> What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the Pinterest app. So if you can see that right there, kind of in the middle, we're just gonna open that and it defaults to my feed when it opens up. So down here along the bottom, we've got um, the Explorer button who we're following, our notifications, and see where it says saved, even though it doesn't, I don't know why it says that, but that's my profile. So just click on that, you can see here, this is the actual Pinterest website for me. Um, and anyway, it just kind of shows all the different boards I have, my pins, anything that I've tried, um, my followers, and then it goes to the people that I'm following. So you can always refresh those settings as needed. Let's just go back to the overview though. And up here along the top, you're gonna see that plus sign. And that's what we're gonna do from our phone. We wanna add. So I'm just pulling a photo from my camera roll. And you can see I've already done this one, created the graphics for it. Um, I like to size it. This is the original. Here's what it looks like now. So I resized it for Pinterest. The first thing it's gonna do is prompt you for a title. So I'm just typing that in. Try and be aware to be in compliance when you're typing things. So since he sent watermelon wave. And then in the description, that's where you can basically write anything you really want. Um, I like to kind of try and keep it short, <laughs> sweet, and to the point um, in my descriptions. Uh, there's more information that maybe I need to tell them about this, the, well, the product or the scent, whatever it is that I'm uploading, then that's of course where I can put it here. Um, maybe it's information about joining or the opportunity, anything like that. So feel free to get creative. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in my website here. Again, you don't have to because what I'm going to show you is we're going to actually add the link directly to this picture, but just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and add it on here. 
All right, so now, there we go. I want this to go to, if they click it, I want them to be taken directly to that website. So I'm just gonna pull up my Safari here and I go to my website, menu. Oh, I don't want sent, I want specials. Oh snap, I gotta go all the way down, okay. See where it says specials that's where you're gonna find your scent and warm of the month info so click on that this is the page that i want them to land on if they're clicking on that watermelon wave picture so i'm highlighting and i'm clicking copy i'm gonna slide back over now it's my phone does this so it's already on my clipboard so it gave me a shortcut i'm gonna click paste but you could just click add and then paste in so now I'm gonna save it and choose a board. My Scentsy board is called Scent Life. So I'm gonna go down to that. I'm gonna add it to that board. And it's gonna show us a little notification down here at the bottom saying that it's saved to Scent Life. There it is. All right, so now I know that it's saved there. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Let's go down to my board. Sorry, this is alphabetical. <laughs> and here we go. All right, so this is my Scentsy board. Here's the pen, so you can see there's the one that we just did. You can see all the ones here. So click on that. If I click on the picture, where does it take me? Right where I wanted it, to, wanted it to take me. I wanted it to take me or the person looking at the pen directly to this page. So that's what it did. It worked. Yay! Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. Let's go back. Here's the one that I did the other day. Um, you can see at the top my analytics for this pen so that's kind of nice to know again like I said I like to size these to the Pinterest size so that's why they're a little bit bigger but it says click this pick when we click it I inputted it to go directly to the warmers and accessories so if they need bulbs it takes them directly to this page so easy quick to the point that's what we want so there we go very easy to just upload a pen directly from your phone and add it. So I hope that was helpful for you to take a look at that. So tell me, what do you think? Was that easy to do? As you can see, the whole purpose of doing that by embedding a link is so that way, again, you're gonna increase the traffic that is being driven to your website. Again, it can be the website of your choice. And there are some times where I do take some pens and maybe it's about the opportunity or maybe I just want to randomly, it's maybe just a random picture that I've, I've used for Instagram and it's just a fun picture. And so what I like to do with those is instead of linking it to like a direct product on my website is to actually link it directly to my Facebook fan page. So I'd do the same thing. I'd copy the link or insert the link from my Facebook fan page, attach it to the pen and save it just like we did on the scent board. And then that way when they click that picture, then it's gonna take them directly to my Facebook fan page where hopefully they will follow along and become a follower you see where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> you can do the same thing driving them to your Instagram if you're looking to get more Instagram followers. Have some fun with it. Again, the whole point of really creating a social media presence is to be present across all the different platforms. Because remember, I've told you guys before, my favorite one happens to be Instagram. I love Instagram, but just because I spend a lot of my personal time there, doesn't mean that all my customers, future team members, and people interested in my business spend a lot of their time there, right? So I have to make sure that I'm focusing my energy on all the different platforms so that way I'm capturing those different groups of people. So the people who are on Pinterest a lot and scrolling through there a lot, um, 
this way it's just giving them a really great way to directly interact and contact me and hopefully i can start to then begin building a relationship with them to really push forward that customer service piece or you never know could turn into my next team member and again i'm just going to reiterate the point that we did all of that from my phone right all of that from my phone i didn't have to get on the pc i didn't have to pull up the laptop or the tablet or anything like that everything was done from my phone i like to create my pictures and my images from my own pictures and images okay so as you can see in that example that we used there that was just a bar of watermelon wave pretty simple me holding it right it was just that picture i just took it you want to look for a light background you want to have good lighting um, maybe have a good distance you can put a filter on it if you'd like have some fun with it um, make your really focus on your branding and how you like your pictures to look everybody kind of draws into a certain formatting of pictures i like the the little bit of a filter with like some pinks and some purples thrown in so if you like were to look at my instagram profile the majority of the time the constant colors that are being used are like this faded pink into purple filter um a lot of people like to do a lot of things on like a white background and that's great so when you're taking those pictures focus on a certain thing always use the same background use a white background or a colored background just look for ways that again that you can just draw it in because the whole point of that yes there is a bigger reason for it other than just being creative but the bigger point in all of that is that your followers will tend to be able to recognize and spot your specific pictures even if you didn't put like for me my tag my instagram tag or my the melting pot website on there even if i didn't do that the goal is to if they were to see that picture out there they'd be like oh that looks like one of jackie's that she would do because the colors mat or the colors are like hers or something like that that's that's really what we're aiming for is to really just be recognizable and be consistent in how we are branding our business so it all kind of wraps up into the brand thing we can go on all about that all day long and i can talk lots and lots and lots about branding and marketing but today we're gonna bring it back to pinterest so now what i'm gonna do and i did have some questions i had posted this topic into two of the facebook groups um, within my team and so I really wanted to try and answer some questions So one of the biggest questions that I get a lot and then I did get when I posted this initial query was how to link your Website your PWS through the workstation to your Pinterest again that can be done via mobile it can be done via a computer or a PC so I'm gonna show you both ways because I want you guys to be able to know that regardless you don't have to have a computer to be working your business i know a lot of people who work directly from their phone they're mobile all the time and that's where they do the majority of their business so being able to have that that flexibility there is a great asset so let's jump in welcome to an overview of my laptop <laughs> All right, we jumped into the phone, now we're jumping into the laptop. So I wanted to show you guys how to do this from the PC and how to link your Sensi website directly to your Pinterest. So let me hop over here. I've got the workstation ready to go. So I'm gonna sign in. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my account tab and I'm gonna scroll down here and you see here where it says social profiles. I'm giving it a moment to load. Okay, so what I currently have connected is I have my Pinterest and I have my Facebook business page, my fan page. Remember, you cannot link your personal Facebook. You can only link a business or a fan page from Facebook to your website. And that's simply because that the terms and and security and all of that for Facebook 
is driven by this needs to be a business. This doesn't need to be a personal person because a personal page on, on Facebook is and shouldn't be used for business or selling, things like that. So we wanna abide by the terms and conditions and that's truly how our Cincy website really drives us. It, it makes us do the right thing, so that's a good thing. All right, so as you can see, I'm already there, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click remove just because I wanna show you what it should look like. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so hopefully it will all work correctly because um, I did this quite a while ago when we first had this um, ability when it came out is initially when I created this. So let's see if it looks the same as my memory recalls. So here we go. So yours should look like this. So I'm gonna click on connect. It's going to ask request for my permission. So it wants to know, can it access my public info, like my profile, my pens, and my boards? Um, remember, if you're always curious, you can look at those, the TOS, the terms of service, you can look at the privacy policy, you can look at the settings, you know, reading the fine print, it is there. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm allowing um, my Sensi workstation to actually access the public information that is on my Pinterest page. And for me, that's okay, because everything that I put in a public um, application such as Pinterest like this, things that I make public, I really, I really make sure that I try not to put too much personal information out there. So this is okay for me. So I'm going to click OK and I'm connected. Now it instantly did that simply because I'm already logged into Pinterest and my, my computer recognizes that. Okay. So if for some reason yours doesn't automatically connect like that, it will just ask you for your Pinterest login username and your password. So you'll easily be able to still do that. So once I'm connected, let's come over here. Let's open up a new tab and let's actually go to my website and let's check out what that means. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me do it from over here. Let me go to my marketing tab. All right, so here we are. We're on the home page of the marketing tab. This is fantastic. So on the marketing tab, you will see all of the fun stuff that we can download and use. Okay. Right now I am looking for I want one that has a Pinterest logo because I want to be able to show you that. All right, so I did go through a couple of pages here, but You'll see now I've got a marketing flyer that has the little Pinterest logo. So this shows how wax and warmers work. So I want to use this. So I'm just going to click the Pinterest button. You see it opened a new tab for me. Now it already pulled up the image. I did not fulfill or fill in a description. So I do want to put something in there. So let me just type in something very quickly here. I just wrote curious about Cincy, just because I'm short on time. Now notice, remember when we did it on the phone, I had to put a link in there. I'm not doing that here, so I'm gonna show you why. So I'm just gonna click save. I'm saving it to my board, which is Scent Life. Now let's click on see it now, because we wanna see it right now, right? Of course we do. All right, so here's the pen. So this is what it looks like when it's on Pinterest. So other visitors, things like that. Obviously you can see I don't have any analytics yet because I literally just end it. Um, so I don't have that yet. Now, when people are on a PC, they view it a little bit differently. Um, so you can see right here, it says visit or the picture. So I'm just gonna click the picture because that's what I always tell everybody to do. And do you see how it automatically took me directly to my website? And it just took me to the general warmers page. And that's because the logic behind what Sensi already created for us is already there.
So let's do another example. Let's show this one. This has the Scentsy Go. So let's do the same thing. Let's click on the Pinterest logo. And I'm just gonna type in Scentsy Go. Well, with a few more O's, why not? <laughs> okay, let's pin that to Scent Life. That's my Scentsy board. Let's go ahead and click on See It Now because we wanna see it in action, right? Again, same concept, right? Don't have my analytics yet, but that's okay. Um, another thing I wanna show you very quickly while we're right here, is up here you'll see that pencil. This is where you can edit. So maybe for some reason I'm like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking when I wrote that description? Or I wanna put something else in there. You can type in whatever you want here. You can put that back in, whatever you need to do. I don't have sections created on my board, but you can set those up. And you can see that it already has the link embedded for the website where it's gonna take it to. I'm not gonna mess with that, but that is what it looks like behind the scenes. So let me just click save, even though I didn't make any changes, but just know that you can. And again, you can either click visit or you can click the picture. I always just click the picture. Where's it taking us? It's taking us directly to the Sensi Go page. So do you see how when we're pinning on Pinterest, that's why it is so important to really embed those links because when you're embedding those links, that's what people want. When people are online, they want things quick and easy and to the point. If they want something that they want to be able to buy, they wanna be able to know where to go to do it. And by simply connecting my Pinterest to my workstation, I'm able to quickly do that. And remember, this is all just done from the marketing tab. So maybe you've got some free time and you wanna just go through and you just wanna create some boards and really create some interest. You can do that. Spend some time here on the marketing tab. Remember, wherever you see that Pinterest logo, you can do that directly to Pinterest. Where you see the Facebook logo, you can automatically do that. So let's come over here. Let's do it on the Amazon Rain bath bomb. All right, this is sharing to Facebook. I can add it to an album if I wanted to. Um, I've kind of gotten out of doing albums on Facebook. Um, I'm just gonna say relax and oops, if I can spell around the tripod and unwind. I'm gonna go ahead and share that. And you see it says that it shared to my Facebook, right? So let me just pull up this. I'm just gonna open this up very quickly and go to my fan page so you can see what it looks like there. And I actually have two pages that I manage. One is my Scentsy, one is my food blog. So that would be why I have to go down there. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. So here's my Facebook fan page. I'm gonna let it load just a second here. You're gonna see a lot of my analytics because we're on my view. But there's our post. This is what it looks like on my fan page. Do you see how it says published by Cincy PWS? So if you hover over it, it tells you. Um, but again, I didn't have, all I remember, all I typed was relax and unwind. I didn't have to worry about putting my website on there, anything like that, because now that this picture is here, all they have to do is click that link. And again, it's taken them directly to the Amazon Rain Bath Bomb. So that's why it is so important to link your fan page and your Pinterest page from your workstation because that's really gonna save you a lot of time in marketing and it's gonna save you a lot of, of just typing and, and doing more of the techie stuff behind the scenes. So I hope that this is helping you. So how do you guys think? What do you think? Do you think that it's easier on the phone? Do you think it's easier on the PC version? I personally, I don't mind either way. Both of them are workable to me. 
The whole point though is to get to sharing. So go ahead, link up that Pinterest and that Facebook fan page if you haven't already. If you wanna have some fun setting up on Pinterest, create yourself a board that is dedicated to Scentsy and then start pinning. Remember though, it's very important that when you're adding pictures and then you are adding things from your website, either from the marketing tab or just scrolling on your website and clicking the pin it button, then these things are all gonna route back to where you're telling it to. So you can see that a lot of the work is cut out for us if we use those connectors in the background. Um, but otherwise you can very easily, as you're uploading your own personal pictures from your phone or the laptop, then you can go ahead and create that link behind the scenes. So it will take you take them exactly where they need to go to be able to shop and buy your products. So I've talked a lot about Pinterest today. If you still have some questions, feel free to drop them below. And if you found this helpful, as always, please give me a thumbs up, a heart, or share this with others. And until next week, we will talk again. Peace, love, happiness. Bye.